Starting next week, Friday nights will be about football for many high schools across the state. But this week, a Metro high school is rallying around one of their own in an extraordinary way with prayer. Totino Grace senior Rachel Wool learned last week there are few options left to treat her brain tumor. One of the coaches on the football team came up with an idea, an idea he shared with our Jennifer Mayerly, and it's one the school wanted us to share with you. Sit up tall, sit up tall. A moment in time captured on camera. Good, good. I want to try one more shot. Team manager Rachel Wool sits in the center, surrounded by her team, the Totino Grace Eagles. One, two. You could call them her extended family. She's out there every day when we're at practice. She won't miss a day. She won't miss a game. It's her favorite thing, and we just love it. There you go. We're going to be physical. Coach Jeff Ferguson and Rachel have formed a special bond. We love her. It's not hard to understand why Coach Ferguson gets choked up when you learn what Rachel's gone through in her 17 years and the road that lies ahead. This is a school and you learn in so many different ways and you learn in the classroom and you learn out here. Uh, and we learn from Rachel and so her journey we've embraced as our journey. Rachel was first diagnosed with brain cancer in second grade. Last October, a more aggressive tumor forced another round of radiation. Recently we've seen changes in Rachel and um, the doctor confirmed that her tumor is growing again. And so, um, you know, the medical options are limited. Rachel uses a wheelchair to get around. Hi, and her parents say her voice hey, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. has gotten softer. One thing that will never change is her love for the team. My voice. And how she motivates everyone around her. She's made our journey a lot easier than how you would expect a journey through cancer to be. She's so strong, she's so determined. Um, she's a fighter, that she is. Sometimes you have to ask, and, and we're gonna ask. Hey Lance, drive back. Assistant coach Don Rooney felt the team and the Catholic school community could do what medicine can't, offer a 24-hour power novena. We're gonna say one rosary at the top of the hour, starting at six o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning. They hope to inspire and encourage Rachel Good. in a way more meaningful than wearing her favorite color on their laces. I think prayer can lift someone up. It can do a lot of things. It can help her. It can help us. Lance Bennick sees a whole lot of determination on the sideline. They're two of the strongest people I've ever met in my life. His mom we were always at the pasta feeds together. Okay. Also has a brain tumor. She came up to me and she gave me one of these and said be strong and I'm like oh <laughs> yep you're right I gotta be strong. TJ you're on the scene. And Lance says coach Ferguson helps the team stand strong in their faith. Get to him get to him. Even when faced with the unthinkable. It's about camaraderie. It's about toughness. It's about loyalty. And she embodies those, and we learn a lot from her. How you doing, Rachel? Oh, got some hey, sweat on you. Yeah, don't be sweating on her, Kaz. There is no mistaking. Rachel is the heart of this team. The Power Novena prayer will begin at 6 in the morning on Sunday and will go through 6 a.m. on Monday, which is the first day of school for Totino Grace. They're asking anyone who wants to participate on their own to do so. When I asked Rachel about this, she gave me a thumbs up. No doubt Rachel will be on the minds of many this weekend. She will. Thanks for sharing her story, Jennifer.